Hi, it's Anarchy Shadows, and I'm actually just going to turn down my audio for a second, I can't hear myself think. Um, yeah. Anarchy Shadows, and today we're going to be hopefully finishing the Collect playthrough. I say hopefully as in I presume we will. I'm pretty sure I know what's going on here. But we're going to just get back into it. Check out my last streams, either on my Twitch channel, if you go to the actual like, stored videos, or for YouTube, if you're on YouTube, you know, you know, you'll work it out. I'm fairly confident you can get that. Um, so, last episode I found out I had a quick travel option all along, so most of my time was wasted. Um, <laughs> so now I have a quick travel option, though. This also means I have opportunities. So I can go here, and it will show me that I'm currently at this place. And I want to get to 51.30 to complete that. So I go to 51... 51 is about here. It's this point here, wasn't it? Yeah, the end of that point. So now I can go there and... Dramatically cut off the distance. Why is there a door creaking sound? There are, like, no doors anywhere around here. I don't get where that came from. What's the point? If we started off here, you want to go in generally south direction. So, I think we'll go. I'll keep the compass up. But this time, we'll go to the other border. Because the last time, we kind of hugged the side because we needed to get into that particular part. part for the like bunker bit that was supposed to be a radio tower that was far too bunkery to be a radio tower but, whatever. but this time we need to go up doesn't seem to be much in the way of landmarks so I, just, I guess I just kind of wander until I find some of note Okay, that's pretty of note. There's a cliff there. Okay, so I, I don't go off the cliff. I can figure that much out for myself. I don't think there's ever going to be a horror game that doesn't have one of these torches with the rings of light in it. It's just so it's so synonymous with horror games that it's not, it doesn't even bear mentioning. Pretty much. Yeah, I've come back in a second. Do you know, I don't think I remember this place at all. This might be the right way. Hopefully it is. So once, I, once I've done this, I'll have done everything, and then I'll, I'll presumably go to the middle. Because they, they seem to put a lot of focus on that middle bit of the circles. Alright, no monster yet. Oh, of course it is. Son of a bitch. It's the other side of the, like, drop down bit, so I have to go to the other side. And then I'll drop down that, this path on the way back. Which is irritating, but what can you do? I still haven't worked out what that big red glowy thing is. Oh, it's the radio tower. That's the radio tower that the, this bit of the map's named off. Well, not named off, but designed after, I guess. Well, it's the, it's the thing that's on the map. Marked out. The thing is, right, this game... Because of how slow the monster moves, and how spread out the map is, it makes it a lot less scary. I think the most scary bit is when there is no monster in this game. Like, this game is very good at the don't reveal your monsters bit of the story, but then as soon as it reveals them, it's like, oh, it's just someone walking very slowly behind me, which is kind of a manageable threat. 
And it's almost too easy. I say almost, but it's still... It's nothing to detract from the game at all, I don't know. I, th I think that was what the what ruined the game stairs. I, I have played it, but I didn't play it like on this channel because it was ages ago I played it. But no, stairs in the, that game, the creature walks really slowly, and you can see it walk past the grate before you ever like meet it properly. So you actually got to see it in a non-threatening way, like it just walking past, and it was just a normal animated character. With like a normal walking position, like a normal person. Everything about it was really human. And it just had like glowing eyes and that was it. And you just see it kind of strolling past like it was just having a casual day. And it kind of ruined the scare of the monster. It was still a terrifying game though, because it, like this game, it had a lot of atmosphere to it. It had the whole, you you hear the voices of the people who died saying how, like reasoning behind why they ended up becoming cannibals and it's like a really dark subject matter. It was just kind of silly because you just see this guy just strolling along like just minding his own business and it's like playing the scary music like this is supposed to be a big deal but no it's just it's just the guy with like weird glowy eyes and that's about it. I might actually go back to the camp and get my bearings because I have completely lost it. I was hoping it would be pretty simple because a lot of them there's big landmarks which clearly marks out. A lot of the times I just like trigger events which would direct me and I wouldn't even have to do much. Alright, back at camp. Where? This one. Now what we want to do is... Okay, so we want to go to this bit. So what we really want to do is take the most south-westerly direction from here. We'd, no, we go... Um, we go down the southwest route. And then from then on, we need to try and go, you know, I'll, I'll just track the path as it goes around, so. I won't sprint for this bit. I'm sorry if that's going to take a little while. Yeah, so we're going southwesterly. We need to just go around this rock, essentially. We're looking for any turn back point. There we go. That's turn number one. So presumably from there we're kinda of going here, so then we'll go around. Just speed the process up a bit. Still going south west, which makes sense. Let me go on the most southwest route there is. And then there's going to be a little divergent point here where we want to go as north as possible. I don't think it's this. I think this is the returning bit of the loop. Could be down here actually. Bearings are just completely gone. I thought we were like facing the north right now. No, what was that? Where are we? Oh, I came in here with such high hopes. Oh, this is the loop. This is part of the loop. The loop goes around the middle bit. They're not including the interior of the like weird loop bit that's kind of destroyed. Which I guess kind of makes sense. Because when you're making the map, you wouldn't have a collapsed building, you have a fixed building. It's just kind of 
been years. Whoever made this map did a really good job, actually. I don't mean the game's design, I mean like the, the, the in-game person. Not uh, the game, game designers watching this, sorry. But, uh, <laughs> otherwise, yeah, I, I mean in the game. It's very accurate. I'm lost as fuck. Do you reckon I can get over this? Yeah, yeah, I can get over it. I can build a bridge and get over it. This might be the route. Is this the tip of the thing? Like, you know, the bit where you can... Wait, no, I'm trying to get to this point. So, for us, so it's quite possible I've actually done it now. I just need to go more north. I need to go to the most northern point. I'm gonna end up getting lost if you can tell. It'll take a genius to work out, but I'm not one. Yeah, not now. Okay, so I went the wrong way, but I don't think I can get back out. So I guess I'm just gonna have to live with it. Ah, oh, actually no, that works. <laughs> Convenient dying. Best way to get out of getting lost, just kill yourself all the time. And spread your positive vibes elsewhere. Seriously, what is with the door creaking noise? I'm pretty sure it's like completely misplaced. Alright. Okay, we need to think about this in a new way. We're here. Okay, we... If we continue going north... If we, okay, if we... We can get around this bit fine. I'm sure we could do that. Just get around the... Get around the rock. That's, that's not going to be too difficult. I mean, at least I hope not. I don't know, I'm pretty bad at this. Alright, so this is north. We're, we're facing north. And that is the path upwards, which means we take this one to the side. Oh, actually, if we look at the curvature of that line, of this one here. I'm pretty sure it just curves around the edge of this building. I don't want to go too far in. Actually, no. And then this is what I was just going to say before. Once I'm in here, if I just carry on going as north as possible, I, I will undoubtedly reach an edge, and then I'll just have to like go not north anymore, but just as close as I can. So obviously I'm not going north at all right now. That's because the other side is a cliff. But once I get to this edge here, 
once I go around the edge. I, I'm, I'm basically doing the whole um, maze method where you just stay on the sides at all times and you can trace, trace out your map. So now we know that this is the loop. And then, because uh, what I, I want to do is I want to go west and north. Those are the two routes. That didn't work. There we go. North. Go north. Alright. This way? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm feeling a sense of getting it wrong, deja vu. It's a very common experience. You know? I, I have my own form of deja vu, specifically designed about getting things wrong and then remembering when you're doing them the same way again and getting it wrong. And you're like, oh well of course it is. I don't know. This time I did not die. There was no solace. And I'm just tanking falls from great heights for some reason. That is just the cruelest prank ever. Like, usually you die from like any height fall. And this time I want to die and I just can't. It's cruel. Oh, I can get back in this way. This way. Wait, what kind of bit of map is this? Is this this bit here? Wait, this loop isn't the bit near the rock. This loop is an entirely different bit. And this is what I was doing here, so I actually have to go like way down. Okay, I, I, I can get on board with that. I don't think this is it. Doesn't look like this. But it just looked like a point of interest. No, it's not it. Okay, so we found an archway of some sort, which is usually a sign that they're saying paper, paper cranking something. I like the little atmospheric de delay. There we go. Oh damn! I thought it was gonna be voiced. You're going to have to put up mine. Alive corpses in Siberia. Was there a top secret facility where scientists worked on revealing, reviving the dead? Several elements would suggest that this is the case. There were, in, in Inia, a small town in Siberia. Here there was supposed to be an institute where decades ago the most brilliant minds were, were to accomplish the impossible, revive a corpse. Nowadays, in place of the complex, there is only ruins. This is difficult to determine what exactly was there. Till this day we can stumble upon things resembling medical equipments. 
but it is, is clear that there was no hospital here, as the elder as the elder locals recall. One day the military came, marked out an area, set up a constitution a construction site, and it took them several years to build it. Once after another, one one building after another, people were happy because there was work. But as soon as they were finished, the military surrounded the area with barbed wire fences and for, forbade to, to, to even walk in the vicinity. I remember trucks pulling up and soldiers unloading some equipment. Behind there, were a large, there was a large lot where huge delivery vehicles pulled up. People said those were refrigerated trucks. But it had been going on like that for more than a dozen years and nothing happened. Two or three years before they closed it down, some weird things had occurred. We saw them transporting people to the facility, and the whole village heard screaming in the middle of the night, as if they were murdering people. One day, it just stopped. The trucks left, the military stayed for a while, engineers came, they, to they tore the whole thing to the ground, and that was it. What could have been in that facility? When asking about the possible explanations, Dr. Levig, an eminent historian, says, I was not, it was not unusual for the previous government to build a facility hidden deep in the corners of Siberia. It doesn't, it does not have to have anything to do with any paranormal fairy tale, but merely with classified military activity. Although historical re sources remain silent about any village and any military facilities or scientists in the area, it totally contradicts the inhabitants' stories. We became aware of existing documents that could shed light on the case. An extract from a, correspond from a correspondence where the names of the sender and the receiver are censored mentions a facility in the middle of Siberia where the military sends well-preserved bodies of convicts in, ref in refrigerated trucks for further research. Furthermore, the authorities write, I do hope you will manage to do something with them because the mountain is becoming impatient and no one, and one alive is not enough. Okay, so on the same vein as the other things they've been writing, you know, just military doing something. I'm all the way over here. I did not expect that. Not expect that at all. So now I want to go west. Did I go the other way around? Looking at the map, I wouldn't have expected it to be like that. It's very goggles on that. Right. It looked like you're supposed to go the route I was going before, but no, you're supposed to go around the west. There we go. Okay, the monster's not following me yet. Is there anything here? I think I want to stay on the path. That's the thing that I'm not sure what it wants me to do. It's possibly the best thing for me. such a dick move that it fucks with your compass. It's like seriously, you got a game where the main element of the game is the fact that you have a compass. And you're gonna make it so that the monster causes your compass to just constantly do one thing. This better not be a dead end. Oh fuck my life. It's a dead end.
There's no, there's no monster anymore. I could change when I get to the end. And a douche makes a one-way system. Well, you're clearly gonna get chased by the monster. I don't know where he fucked off. Today. There we go. It's more like it. Oh, it's just patrolling, I guess. See, look at that. Look, look, look at his shoulder movements. Yeah, here's the shoulder movements of someone just casually strolling. Hopefully, he doesn't catch up. He literally just follows you at like a snail's pace. Perhaps he can't follow me on the ice. I don't know why that would be a thing. But, you know, because he didn't follow me then. But he's following me very directly with his weird movements. Actually, you know, what am I talking about? I didn't go over there. If he was following me, he wouldn't have gone over there either. Actually, I worked out which way. I'm, I'm supposed to go north for now, because I'm a man beside that. Just check the map. You know, I'm gonna go south again. I'm gonna try and get back to where we were before because I hit kind of a lost point. And I think if I just let the scary moments guide me, that would be a lot better. Just to everyone in. That's where I picked up the note. Oh. Okay, I guess. Oh, it's this way. Alright, sorry, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I realise I'm retracing my steps, but that's just kind of the way it ends up with very hard to navigate maps like this. It's a clever technique on that. It makes it feel really real, the fact that you have to navigate on a proper map rather than like a little display in the corner and shit. It's also easier on their part, I mean they have to make the compass and stuff, which is a lot of work. I mean they put a lot of work into this. But, um... You know, you, you don't have to have everything running all at once. <laughs> And it also makes the game a lot longer, because the amount of time I've spent getting lost is just unmatched in any other game. Right, so this is where I kind of lost track with all the scary things happening. So if I go backwards this way, yeah, this looks fairly scary. Paper. So I'm being kind of quiet just so I can echolocation detect where the, where the paper is. I think it's up there. Yeah, it's probably up there. Yeah, it's definitely up there. I can. The sound just. Definitely located to that score. You have to go faster. I don't have a lot of time left. You have to hurry. Find the way. Find me, or I'll unleash hell upon you. Oh, God. Let's 
obviously don't care. I'm moving so slowly. What happened to my amazing technique of sprinting and stopping? Like a retard. Just like spaz jump. Oh, there you go. And now I go north the whole way, because that's the way to the point. Alright. Ooh. I think I picked the, the best option for the last, the last place to go to. Cause it definitely wasn't scheduled to go in a particular order. So I could have ended up with like a uh, ship. But th this one's definitely hiked up the tension a bit. Unless they've done it so that the further through the game you are, the scarier the things they say. Stuff like that. Just go in. Alright. they call Post Office Box 5. I don't know where this is. I don't even know what year it is. They are not allowing anyone from the outside to have contact with us. They lock us up in cells, four in each. I saw dozens of cells like that. They talk about something they called Anomaly 7. Every day we undergo tests, research, tortures. I have seen how they kill people. I have seen terrible things. Write about it. Fun, fun, fun. Let the world know. They conduct the worst experiments possible. They have something that we call the fear chamber. There is no way to say what will happen Sounds to scary. the person that ends up there. Some come back, but are no longer themselves. They are absent. Others are dragged out dead. Only few stay sane. I thought the tests were trying to bring people back from the dead, so what's with all the alive people going crazy? And showed me things worse than any nightmare you can possibly dream. Sometimes people come out of there with broken bones, mutilated, crushed, irradiated, dismembered. I can't take it in anymore. Take away these images. There is a scientist amongst us. He said that during their sick experiments, they discovered something wow. out of this world. They are trying to test it. The truth is that it is testing them. He told us that there are more places like this around the world, and there will come a day the gates of hell will open. You have to stop this. Destroy it. Destroy us. Kill us all. The center is governed by something that is called the Soviet Research Unit for Natural Phenomena. I have seen this on an ID card of the man that was interrogating me. He said we were prisoners, convicts, murderers, rapists, thieves. But that is not true. I have done nothing wrong. I was falsely accused, I, I tell you. They call us subjects. No names, but subjects. I am subject 73. I don't even remember my real name. I beg of you, please help us. Burn it all to the ground. If only this letter reached beyond the walls of the center. If only the guard who promised This reminds me of kept Monster. Promise. You have Monsters to Monsters and anime. It's a really long one, but watch all of it recommend. Sacred. You have to. It's like a my psychological so horror thing. Answer. Whispers in my ear that everything is going to be fine. That the orange light is singing in the voices of hundreds of angel choirs. Ooh. Anton promised me that if I listen carefully to the singing, he will free me. Sometimes, however, I think that all of this does not exist. There is no prison. There are no bars. There are no doctors. There is no Anton. There's only this frightening, 
piercing orange light. Damn. Anyway, I was saying about um, the anime Monster, which I definitely recommend you watch. Essentially, it's about this these insane people with it. It's like, it's a psychological anime, and you just kind of get into the mind of this psychopath who's killing all these people. And you like find out it's, it's set in post World War II Germany, and he's like gonna be the next Hitler, or the, that's what they plan at least. And they're in like some camp where they're experimenting on kids and like making them forget who they are. And he's like, the kid doesn't know his own name, so he has to like remember his friend's name, and vice versa. And they'll go crazy. I think that's a bit too much of a spoiler, but oh well. Wait, is that marked off the map now? There you go. I don't know what that, that's a symbol for, but hopefully marked off the map. Wait, if I die, I, I'm gonna reset before I search. I don't, I don't want to risk it. I feel like if I die, I may just go back to the camp, but I may also lose my chance. Actually, no. Wouldn't I just go back to where I can't now? Or like just at the entrance? This bridge here. Yeah. Parkour, parkour. I don't know whether I can parkour into that. Nope, can't parkour into that. What was I thinking? Of course I can't parkour and parkour in a game where you can't jump. I I don't know what I expected. What what my expected outcome for that scenario was. But I just ha hardcore parkour, like just slide across, I guess. Oh, there you go. That works. Get to this one. Now we're at the camp. <gasps> Called it! Knew that would happen. Yeah, it's like summoning the demon. Look at the sky. What? What is that book? Oh, is that my journal? Did I just get hit in the face with a paper? That was the lamest way to start cutting. And so, we have reached the end. Have you understood your role in my plan? <clears throat> there are no random victims. All right, just follow the path. Nobody is completely innocent. <clears throat> you may not agree, but when the gate to Section Twenty Two opens, the world will see true madness. You will this understand so cool. that everything that I have done was necessary. All right, I don't have my compass on my map anymore. Which tells us we're in a different place in time. I mean, obviously, we. Oh no. I can hear loads of them. I'm actually going to turn this off just for, creep, for creeps' sake. Alright, it's slightly louder for me. Alright, I'm just going to follow this track the whole time. The monster's not following me, is it? Better not. Ooh, I, I like the orange glow. Because they made the, the warmest of sensations become the scariest. Because orange glow in, in this kind of thing would be like the nicest. Oh god. God. Wait, was I a woman all along? <laughs> Plot twist. Mm. 
Wow. Alright, I'll just, I'll let the credits roll for a bit. Right, um... Nice song. Uh... <laughs> sorry. This was a very good game. Highly recommend it. You know what, uh... <laughs> I feel like if I'm doing a review of it, you kind of already seen it, you know. You know, I'll, I'll make a, I'll make an actual proper review video on this at some point because I did like this a lot, and I was thinking of doing some review videos at some point anyway. But um, it was a very good game, very creepy. The sensation of being lost was very good, very well done. It wasn't like overbearingly hard to find your way. I mean, it was most of the time, but that's just because I'm shit. I, li I like Sean, Bo Sean Bean's voice acting in this. Very good. I mean, you could tell he was going to die, so it was kind of a spoiler, but, you know, apart from that. Anyway, everything about this was very well done. I'm not sure if this counts as an indie game, because I don't know anything else from this developer, but at the same time... It's got a big cast, and it's got Sean Bean, who's a quite renowned actor. But anyway, I think this is a very good game. I would recommend most people to play it, just, just for the experience. It's very immersive. It feels a lot like when you're playing Skyrim, and there's like blizzards, and you can feel like you're in that weather. But this, they also have like creepy factor to it. But anyway. Just let these people... I'm not, I'm not sure how long this outro is going to be, so I might just go back to the main menu. Okay, I think it's finished. So anyway, this is Anarchy Shadows with the final playthrough of Colette. I will be starting a new stream next week. I am unsure of what that will be. I'll probably do Firewatch. That's probably... That's probably what I'm going to do on my Friday ones. I also finished um, Limbo last time, so I might do Neko Para, which is a Japanese kind of dating sim thing. It's a weird video I'll make. I, I'm not going to play it in a serious manner. But, um... Do like and subscribe if you like my content, or if you want to see more. Leave a comment saying if you liked this game, if you think this was a well done game, if you like my stream of it, also. Actually, just like it if you like my stream, that's, that'd probably work. And I hope to see you again next time, providing, you know, if you want to see any more, hope you see some of my other stuff. See ya.